Welcome back to HuffPost Live. We're at the World Economic Forum in Davos, and I'm thrilled to be joined for the second year in a row by Rich Lesser and Wendy Woods of the Boston Consulting Group. Well, your, your, um, your actions on social issues kind of go far and wide and then also narrow, quite literally, almost mm -hmm. right into the home of your employees. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about some of the work that you're doing on work-life balance at BCG? I, I think we've tried to think about it in a very holistic way as it relates to our own staff and that there are four things that people really want in their careers. They want to have real impact, a sense of purpose, a sense of really making a difference. They want to be on a really steep learning curve, grow personally, build their own capabilities over time. They want to be in a culture where they actually like coming to work, they like the people they work with, they like the environment they're in, and they want to have some balance. So they can do all those things, but then have a life beyond work, as well as a great life in work. But I, I'm just curious, in terms of creating some of these policies for, for more balance, has there been a trade-off to the bottom line at all? Oh, no, just the opposite. Yeah. In just our the world, opposite. In our yeah. world, having great talent want to come and want to stay is the single biggest driver of success. And BCG's had just tremendous growth this past year, but in general, before the Great Recession and since, since. And I actually think the more we've invested to make it a unique work environment in terms of what, as a very young person, you can do to have impact in the world and what you can do to find it fulfilling and interesting and engaging to be in the environment, I actually think it's totally a positive. Are you when, finding that to be true with the millennials specifically? Oh, absolutely. It is even more important for the millennial generation. And the ability for them to feel like they are creating value with their work and they are making a difference in the world broadly has been incredibly important. And all of these kinds of programs, they're having an impact on our recruiting, they're having an impact on our retention, and they're having an impact of the joy that people have at work. And the other thing I'd say is, so much about what matters in our world is not just to have great ideas, though that is the heritage of BCG and what we've always done. It's to be able to help work collaboratively with clients to make change happen. And when you have people who are energized and engaged and feel like what they're doing is really having purpose, they're that much more willing to invest the time with clients, to roll up sleeves together, to take on hard stuff, and to really have our clients have a sense of that energy and purpose too. And we all know that, you know, just telling people what to do doesn't get anywhere. If you don't win people's hearts as well as minds, you don't make real change happen. For us to be effective in that, we need an entire consulting team, not just the senior part of the team who feels that sense of mission and purpose. Well, not to put you on the spot too much, and maybe, sure. well, Wendy, this is maybe a, better, a question better asked for you, but in order to create an environment like this, how important is it that that mentality starts at the top with Rich as the CEO? Oh, it's phenomenally important. Um, we're in many ways a very decentralized organization where I think almost all of our staff feel very empowered to speak up and to help drive the change in their clients or in their piece of our business. So it's an organization where I think everyone has a voice, but I think everyone absolutely appreciates the fact that you know no one has to convince Rich. Rich is actually leading on this himself.